Brian. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Sheep filling in for Tom O'Brien. Of course, this is the Tom O'Brien Show. Uh, we are going to be joined by Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle today, so looking forward to that in the uh, second segment. We'll take as long as we need to get through all of that. Let's take a look right now at where we're at. Well, it was pretty uh, okay data against the idea of a recession, so we're up a little bit right now in the E-mini, up about 1.66%. Uh, uh, pretty nice just upward trajectory uh, throughout the whole day. Uh, same with the SPY. Russell up as well with that... Um, People still buying, basically, right? NQs of about 2.47%. Again, same kind of thing across the board. And the Dow Jones uh, pretty securely above that $40,000 uh, line right there. Gold contract dipped a little bit, but we're back up at 2498 uh, which is pretty solid. Yet earlier this morning, quite quite a major you know sell-off down to the uh, you know 2469 area, roughly. And then we're kind of recovering uh, right now. I think we were trading around a high maybe a month ago, 50, or like 25, 16, if I remember correctly. Silver up about 4.16%, really doing quite well today, a percentage basis there. And then uh, copper contract up 4.14. Crude oil still running pretty high as well today, 130, trading at 77.97. Uh, still, I think, you know, Pretty low overall. You have some ideas about you know, travel demand being down. Uh, we are producing a ton of oil right now. Um, some ways to kind of bolster ourselves against anything that happens internationally. Then also, you know, it keeps stuff down for inflation as well. Tesla roaring right now. I mean, all these EV guys are roaring uh, currently. You have Lucid up 2.23% today. I think Rivian uh, was doing pretty all right as well up 3.5 percent yeah pretty good stuff going on um interesting you know you had this whole idea is like hey is inflation still persistent and then you get you know that really bad jobs number and the whole market's like oh my god are we gonna have you know a recession and then that sells off and now it's like oh no no that was just a, a glitch um and so we're right back up moving now I still think over, you know, multi-month period, inflation definitely is cooling because one of the things, you know, someone could think would be, well, hey, I mean, you had this massive sell-off, right? And it seems like, you know, this is outside of analyst, or rather, let's see, the unemployment numbers are below analyst expectations. Aren't we right back in an environment, it, especially with retail spending as well, are we right back in an environment where we need to worry uh, about inflation and still you're seeing cooling overall with that. So let's talk about the job numbers a little bit. Uh, the jobless claims dropped 7,000 to 227,000 last week. Uh, the four week average of claims, which smooths out week to week, uh, week, to week ups and downs, fell 4,500 to 236,500. In the week that ended August 3rd, 1.86 million Americans were collecting jobless benefits. That's down 7,000 from the week before. I think as well with some stuff, you know, regarding these job numbers, you know, being lower and that might be indicating, you know, potential recession. I think something that's important to know as well is not so much of these jobless claims are from people getting laid off, but maybe more people entering uh, the market as well. And there's just not new positions opening up. Now, of course, we have seen job cuts in some areas, but I would argue those are companies um, that had a lot of excess spending and their capital is finally shoring up. And this is over the past, you know, two years or whatever. And uh, that's kind of to be expected, especially with the larger tech companies as well. Uh, the claims have fallen two straight weeks, dispelling worries that the job market was deteriorating rapidly rather than just slowing. Let's see. Yeah, so lately higher rates have finally seemed to be taking a toll. Employers added just 114,000 jobs in July. And that's well below the July through June monthly average of 218,000. The employment rate rose for the fourth straight month in July, though it remains low at 4.3%. Monthly job openings have fallen steadily, really what I think is happening with this as well, uh, since peaking at a record of 12.2 million in March 2022. And then, of course, you had uh, retail pretty strong as well, up 1%. 
uh, in July versus I think analyst estimates were like 0.4 or something like that. I mean, that's a really strong market still, you know. Bloomberg also has an article saying that the quant funds are ready to put a bunch of cash into the stock market. You know, it's it's weird. I, I was asking that question yesterday, like how much does a single rate, you know, 25 basis points cut generate economically? And um, I think you're seeing a lot of pent up demand in housing. I think you're still seeing a strong consumer. We were talking a little bit about tapestry, which, uh, give me a second to get the, you know, they, they have like the coach brand and everything like that. Now, they declined a little bit, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, these guys have luxury brands, right? They, they declined a little bit in Q2 earnings wise, but they're still like, hey, I, I mean, things are good. We're just kind of flat right now. Uh, we talk about that a little bit. The coach hit 5.1 billion in annual sales. Gross margins for the year expanded 250 basis points to 73.3 percent of sales. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there, there's still like somewhat resilience in the market, right? Which is interesting to see how that's going to play out, kind of. Now, you know, we could talk about as well, dear, um, and this is what I've been saying. Uh, about how these high interest rates can like disproportionately affect certain people, right? So John Deere had really bad earnings. And uh, that's because the, the farmers get so messed up by high interest rates. Let me try to pull this up. But I guess they say it's going to be fine. So, I mean, Deere's up right now anyway. But you've had this like pretty strong, like, I mean, yeah, they're up 7.4, one on forward guidance. But you're seeing the effects of these high interest rates starting to take toll, especially in the recent past on them. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I do think we are going to get this interest rate cut, but I, I do somewhat fear that since we're still seeing some relative strength, um, that you could run into issues going forward that. I mean, we might see a small uptick in inflation and uh, getting off you know, away from that 2% target. You're only at 2.9 on the CPI year over year, so I don't know. Uh, folks, stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle.